Hi, my name's Dan and this video is uh, the first in a short series of videos that I'm going to do on what I call the essential blueprints in Unreal. Um, and uh, in this one, we're going to look at the level blueprints. Um, these uh, videos are designed for people who are new to Unreal, but actually this series of uh, videos has some uh, elements in it that I have found that some people have used Unreal for a while and not aware of. As I'm sure you'll find as we go through as well, there are elements of this that I am unsure is the best use of them. So uh, I will be absolutely clear where I know what I'm talking about and when I'm not. Uh, that's my intent. So as I said, uh, this one is about the level blueprint. So the uh, when you're in the standard editor here, and uh, this is where we are. I've got a third-person template with uh, not a lot else going on in here. Um, and um, w when you add things into this level, um, they appear over here on the right-hand side. Um, but this level itself is, um, it is a thing that uh, can have a blueprint. Uh, and in fact, it is a, a class in its own right. And if we look through the content browser, I'm doing this off the top of my head now suddenly, maps and the third person map, that is the file that we're editing at the moment. And you can see up the top here where it says it's the third person map. There we go. Let's zoom back up. Um, so uh, the obvious thing to think is if you've got a level which is a blueprint, can you put scripts in it? And the answer is yes. Um, so, uh, but it's you have to know where to find it. And it's up in the top left here. Uh, let's zoom up here. And this little button here, a list of world blueprints available use for editing or creation. Uh, you click on that, there's various things here, but what the one that you want here is open level blueprint. And if you click on that, it will open a blueprint editor for your level. Um, so we've got an event graph here. What we don't have is a viewport because the viewport effectively for this uh, level is the main editor because there's lots of other stuff that can go on there. So it looks a bit different from uh, other blueprint classes that you might create for actors. Um, but in other ways, it's very similar. So we've, uh, we've got an event graph here um, and we can do things in the event graph. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a script in the in the event graph which accesses some of the uh, objects that are in the world and these are objects that don't have uh, they're not blueprints they're just static meshes so they don't have their own scripts we could change them into static meshes uh, to do this uh, functionality um, but we can also do it this particular functionality from the level blueprint uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this down here so that it's a smaller box because that allows me to get into um, uh, to get into this editor and get into the outliner, and I want to uh, click on there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this round pedestal here. I'm going to make it rotate. It's actually made up of four pieces, so we need to grab all of them. So uh, see if I can shift click and get them there. And we can, because I've got the graph open here, um, I can actually drag from there into here. And I get a node for each of them, which gives me access to them. So let's uh, make that big again so we can see it and zoom in. Uh, we have these four nodes. And what we're going to do is we're going to put an event tick on uh, to move all four of these nodes, uh, well, to rotate them. Um, so I'm going to start by adding the uh, tick event node um, and I'm going to determine some kind of speed I'm just gonna uh, uh, multiply the delta seconds by uh, uh, how much I it was 10 I did earlier so uh, multiply let's top in bolt uh, because the letter X doesn't work very well the multiply by 10 that's gonna be quite a slow rotation because we're in degrees so what's gonna happen is that uh, the fraction of a second. Basically, it's going to rotate 10 degrees per second if we do this. Um, and to access the, to actually rotate the individual elements, uh, we'll just grab it and we say get uh, static. If I can type right, that would help. 
get static mesh components. There we go. Um, that's the node that we want for each of them. I, if you remember from previous um, videos, or if you're just jumping in here, you might not know, when you've got a static mesh that's just pulled into a level, it actually creates a um, kind of like an anonymous uh, static mesh actor. So it is actually a kind of actor that we've got in there. Um, but then, so we want to access the actual mesh that's inside the actor by grabbing those. Um, and for each one, we're just going to add a rotation to it, which is this uh, thing that we've got down on the left-hand side. So I'm going to do add world rotation. Um, and when, we're going to need to make it up into a, a rotator. So what I'm going to do is pull out from there and say break. Uh, why is that saying transform break? No, it's make I want. And that's because I've got it the wrong way around. That's why. Make rotator. Because we're just going to use the bit that rotates around the Z axis. And so we're going to... Uh, Put that in there. So the z-axis is upwards, rotating around up, and means it rotates in a horizontal plane. Um, and so we're going to uh, hit that on there. Now there is one more thing we need to do. We need to apply it to all four of them. Uh, but the other thing that we need to do is to make that component movable. Um, and as we highlight each of these, uh, we'll see over here on the right side. Let's do a zoom in. I'm going to find the yeah, I can't find it, can I? There it is. It's Oh, it's actually set to movable. This is because I've already done this. So if you were doing this uh, fresh, that would be set to static, and you'd need to set it to movable to actually be able to move. And I think you need to set all four of them to be movable before you can actually make one of them move, because otherwise the others get in the way. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's go back to the uh, third-person map here, because we just want to duplicate this and do it. so i'm just doing control c control v to get more copies of this one two three four i'm going to do each one of them separately um and chain them together here we go and take the individual uh, components in so this add world rotation is a function that is available inside a static mesh component. And I'm going to take that same uh, rotator and plug it into all four of them. So, as always, live coding, uh, there, are, there is a chance that this has gone wrong, but let's have a look and see what's going on. And yes, we're now rotating all these components here. So we're standing on this uh, platform that's rotating now, and uh, that's being controlled through the level blueprint, as we've, uh, we've just shown. Now, I want to give you a little bit of a caution about the level blueprint. There's um, a whole lot of useful things that you can do with it, but um, it's misused quite a lot in uh, videos that you'll find on YouTube, uh, in that a lot of people use it to... to hold and store and do manipulations on uh, things that they think of as uh, game meta level uh, information. So, for example, scores or health or things like that. And while you can do that, if you've got a um, just one level in your game, you then can't transfer any information from that into any other levels that you've got because obviously you've loaded in a different level if you do that. And the other thing is that it's quite easy, as you've seen, for the level blueprint to communicate with other objects that are inside uh, that level. It is not easy at all to get anything in the level to communicate back to the level blueprint. I will do a video uh, later on in a different series where I talk about how that is possible, but it's quite a a fudge to make that happen um, and I will talk later in this series about the blueprint that you should use if you wanted to do game level information so that's it from me for now